Uh, I don't know. I'm hearing some things on gaming consoles versus PC gaming. PC gaming versus consoles. And in my honest opinion, it's a retarded conversation. Fuchsia FTW and Glock Ninja and a few other people have been posting to well Glock Ninja's little video and leaving some rather interesting comments. Oh wait, that's a different video. But okay, first and foremost. I slightly game on my Mac, and yes, it's not a PC, because i given that up a long time ago because of its complexity and just sheer keeping up with the har hardware was just too much for me, and I just said, fuck it. So, and yes, I used to do custom builds, and I did have a custom built store, and it just went straight to fucking hell. Uh, and by the way, the custom building on the retail business mart is fucking chaos. If you ever go into that selling custom parts, you will literally want to kill yourself. <coughs> but anyways, I've been hearing some pretty outrageous comments here. And mainly, Fuchsia, you win the, I don't know how, but you win the award on this one. We, you basically showed how to make a cheaper PC cheaper than that of a PlayStation 3. Even though that the uh, you forgot about the cell processor, which is an extremely powerful graphics process. And it can do some very powerful graphics processing in itself. It's the reason why the PS3 comes out as the weakest console is because the developers hate the cell processor. And so they bypass it and go into the weak graphics card, which, you know, can't handle most of the graphics. But, uh, yeah. Now, I don't own a 360 or a uh, PS3 because, quite frankly, this year of uh, gaming consoles have been more or less disappointing to me. The only gaming consoles I really have are the PlayStation 2 and the Nintendo Wii. Because... A, the Nintendo Wii won the console war. And, um... It's the only one that's reliable at this point. And... Fuchsia. Uh, it really... Uh, and to you, Clock Ninja. Price... Pricing has nothing to do with any of this. Yes, you can buy ch cheaper games on the PC, but... You know... Why would I want to buy a PC game on a market that is dying, Fuchsia? I, I seriously would like to know, because because um, PC gaming is dying, and it's been dying for some time. <coughs> and the reason why it's dying are the casual gamers are killing it. They are ripping the shit apart of it. I can actually... By the way, I can get cheaper gaming. Not as well graphics on a uh, Nintendo Wii, but at least I can play games. Cheaper, too. And not forgetting, I can play the old Nintendo games, which, nostalgia-wise, is just unbelievable for me. But, uh, yes, I'll admit that the Nintendo Wii controllers are shit. Yeah, but... Uh, it doesn't really matter. I just like it. Simple as fact as that. And yes, it's weaker graphics, but who gives a flying fuck? I obviously don't. But the casual gaming markets are, in fact, killing the uh, hardcore gaming mar markets as a whole, forcing hardcore gamers to go towards more console gaming because casual gamers... All they really want to do is just plug in a device into their television set and they don't care about the money or the cost and just pop in a disc and then play it. They do not want to deal with the complexity of buying a bunch of parts, putting them together on a custom built PC and then sticking it, uh, an, operating, uh, an, op an operating system onto their computer and then sticking it's the game. Yeah, thank you, Mac. 
and then sticking in a uh, gaming CD and then installing the gaming CD and depending on the game either leaving the CD in or t taking the CD out mostly most of them now take the CDs out but anyways uh, <coughs> it's too much for them you tell that to a casual gamer they will just look at you like you're speaking Mandarin Chinese to them all they want is just to pop it in and play it most uh, people who get computers and OME computers nowadays just want internet and email that's an actual simple fact uh, most of them are not hardcore users or power users and power users unfortunately are also getting a kick in the ass too and yes I am a power user but even I'm willing to admit that well I just you know I can't compete against them I cannot compete against the casuals and the power users I mean I cannot compete against the lesser users and the power and the non-power users I mean yeah <sighs> fuck that up okay I can't deal with the non-power users and the casual gamers they they pretty much just kick everybody's ass and you can just look at the Nintendo Wii cells compared to PC gaming cells and it's just phenomenal the casual gamers pretty much make well close to well more than even the planet itself well that's over exaggerating but yeah pretty much most of the population of the United States is casual gamers now and I bet even Canada and Britain and so forth so forth and so forth but um, seriously this is the most bullshit argument I've ever heard in my entire life about how PC gaming is so much better than console gaming because in the end gaming is supposed to be about just gaming and this is why I hate PC hardcore PC gamers because they seem to think that everybody including casual gamers should all be doing the hardcore gaming bit and they think they actually own the casual gamers and in fact the instant they just make a video and say that they're better than everyone else just proves ownership of themselves can I repeat that they own themselves when they say that because they are talking to a group of people who don't give a fuck you know basically it's trying to talk to a person who's busy driving over you with their car they're not gonna care they've already ran your ass over you're just talking out of your ass at that point or well they're halfway running over you with a steamroller and you're still talking about how it's better and they just don't give a shit just cut, cut, out, cut out the screaming and just keep going forward eventually they'll shut up <sighs> I don't know the PC gaming market is in fact been dying and the PC gamers are e e companies like EA and other companies are now even thinking about going cross-platform straight you know cutting out uh, uh, I mean cross-platform like going from you know just going from PC gaming and Mac gaming like uh, Blizzard and EA are doing in fact EA is already start making plans but um, it's pretty much a matter of survival at this point and the, the, the conversation about what is better is pretty much mute the winner was already declared a long time ago and I just don't see the argument here 